Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got a brand new episode of What's New and what's new is actually what's returning over at Jack in the Box. They've got uh, some items that have been out for a while. They're all returning to their menu and um, some of them are a little bit slightly different versions and uh, the first one was the um, they're bringing back the variety pack with the um, mozzarella sticks, the onion rings and the curly fries. And they're also bringing back the spicy crispy chicken strips. And they brought back the sourdough patty melt. And this time, I'm gonna go for the double sourdough patty melt from Jack in the Box. And it was $6.99 for a combo. You can get a single one for $5.99. It comes with fries and a drink. And um, yeah, there we go. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of new stuff come, coming back to Jack, and hopefully maybe they'll put out some new stuff soon. But here we go, and just let you know, it's very hot here today, and I'm having a miserable time doing this review because it is hot and frustrating today. So, just to let somebody know. Anyways, here we go. <laughs> so this is the double patty melt. So, double sourdough patty melt from Jack in the Box. And here we go. It's got the uh, cheese on the bottom and the cheese on the top. Looks like some uh, cheddar cheese, some um, Swiss cheese in between, and grilled onions are on the bottom. And a little bit of mayo action going on there. And nicely toasted sourdough bread and um, yeah that's, that's what I've been looking for um, I loved it last year when it was out and I'm gonna give it a try again for you guys second uh, second version so this is the double and um, like I said it's gonna be good no other produce no no tomatoes no lettuce that's typically patty melts just uh, the grilled caramelized onions and the cheese bit of a uh, dressing on the side but here we go all right the double <laughs> sourdough patty melt from jack in the box thanks jack for bringing it back okay mm. nicely toasted bun patties are nice and moist the mayo goes really well in there. Those grilled onions, wow. Grilled to perfection, I like this one. I liked it before, I like it again. Right. One again, guys. Nice and buttery. Nice and buttery on that bread. Now I'm tasting the caramelized onions on the bottom. Mm, nice and tasty. Definitely very meaty with that extra patty, the double. Really need to go for the double. If you're not a real big meat eater, then you can go for a single. Also, you know, they got their regular, um, you get an order of fries. And I just got a regular Coke, but, um, yeah, the um, the fries are actually they're 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 okay. Um, they're you know <laughs> fries from Jack in the Box, but the price point is actually pretty good for the combo. I believe the sandwich itself is like four ninety nine, so you might as well go with the combo and get all the get a drink, get a um a little bit of fries. So yeah, I like that one, guys. So. I go ahead and give you my opinion on this one. The double sourdough patty melt from Jack in the Box. Really good, guys. Um, great. Even though it's just meat, cheese, and onions, I like I love sourdough bread. So I'm gonna have to give that one. I have to give that one 10 out of 11. Uh, the fact that I like the sourdough 
I like the, um, the the cheese on there, and the double patties is, is actually pretty good. The only thing is, I would like a little bit more um, sauce or a little bit maybe like jalapenos or I don't know, maybe a little spiciness to it, a little sriracha sauce maybe on that. But as it stands, that it is a good uh, menu, and not too many places have patty melts anymore. It's kind of a, a lost burger. So, anyways. There you go. Head on down to Jack in a Box. Check out their returning sourdough patty melt. And also the crispy chicken and the variety pack. They're going to be around for a little while and you might as well catch them while they're there. So anyways, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell right over there. That way you won't miss any future content. Or if I go live, you won't miss the fun. So until next time on Drew's Food Reviews when I will be trying something new. It's sourdough for you. I am going to finish this one off and I'm going to head on home. So anyways, until next time, guys, talk to you later. And thanks, Jack, for bringing this back.